it's a battle now. I think I might have found a weakness. If you hit hard with the forehand and catch him off guard, you can cause some shanks. If he gives me an opportunity, I'm going to take it. Yeah, come on! I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm going to go really fight hard for this so I can get it done. Let's go. together here and find a little bit more steadiness. Shot Cole. It's the first time I've been able to take advantage of an easy ball. It's a good game. That's tough. All right, so I'm off to a good start in this set. I was serving really well, and I had some good ground strokes. I'm gonna really try to dig into this first return game, try to break him early, get him down right away. And then he will still try to get back in this match. He's not gonna go down easy, but it's gonna be that much harder for him if I can get this break right away from the beginning of the set. So basically I've tried every superstition. Went away from the headbands, thought it was bad luck, went to the backwards hat, it was good, and then double faulted. So I thought I'd try to go back to the headband, and. Uh, didn't work, even put a new grip on. He's still ripping away. So I just gotta make I just gotta make some serves and just hopefully just just try to make him play. That shift on the last play was from one of your videos. What I shift? was thinking about it. Making sure you get to this side oh, of the, the oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had that in mind when I hit it. Sorry, Mike. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> No. Nope. Ah! Wow. Yep. Good shot, Cole. Uh, Thanks. I think that was an early Christmas gift. Should've hit it! No. Nope. Ah! Ah! Uh. 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 Gotta take balls early, man. Getting pushed around. Nope. Uh. Uh. Helps when you make first serve. <laughs> uh. No. Uh. No. Sooner or later, you're gonna learn to just hit a kick serve as a first serve. Stop trying to go for the big one, it's not working. Uh, uh, nope. Uh, 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 nope. Uh, Come on, let's go. Cole keeping the pressure on, staying pretty offensive. He's just gotta stay the course now unless Mike brings things together a little bit more. Another. <sighs> if you're enjoying watching this battle, if you're enjoying these guys duking it out, do me a favor and click the like button. It really helps support the channel, helps support these videos, helps more tennis fans get exposed to this type of content. Thank you so much for your support. No. Come on, man. Mm, could cold push a little bit too hard? Could go a little too aggressive here? All it takes is 60 seconds. 60 second lapse of concentration or shot uh, target, you know, decision making. Like, that's all it takes. That's a first for the channel. Cole down on 40 on his serve. 
Now dial it back. Oh, definitely gonna go with the saber on this one. Gotta go big. Gotta take it to him. Yeah, come on. Better a saber. Works every time. I think that's the first time it worked, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got the break I was asking for. Then I gave it right back up by getting broken right away. It's not what you want to do when you're trying to put the pressure on somebody. So I'm going to have to get back to work and start getting them to move around a little bit, force them to make some more mistakes, and let's get another break. He still hasn't shown that he can hold his serve consistently, so I just got to keep breaking him on every game if he's going to keep giving him to me. So I got the break. Uh, I was able to get, a, get some unforced errors from him. Forehand felt a little bit better. Finally feel like I'm settling down into my game a little bit. And just as I said, I wanted to savor that last one because I feel like I, I have to take it to him. I have to do a better job at staying on top of the baseline because if I don't, then uh, uh, he's, he, will, he will push me around on the court. I have to do a better job at just being able to take balls on the rise and being able to be the dictator. <sighs> Nope. Wow. Yeah. Nope. It's about the biggest shot I've seen Cole take on this court, I think. Oh, he was right there. Come to the net, it works. First serves in, it works. Mike's net game is really nice. He's got really good hands and really good intuition about where to be up there at the net. He covers it really nicely. Good ball. Nope, just back. Come on! Oh, about time I get some luck. Really low percentage shot. Ian, your next video can be the importance of making first serves when you want to uh, hold serve. Got it. Write it down right now. And the importance of winning neck cords. Yes. Yeah, it's a good shot, man. Thanks. Good ball. Every once in a while, you got to throw in a second serve to the forehand to keep them honest. No. Serve, man. Now. Good shot. Good shot. All right, it's a battle now. On serve, 3-2. I'm serving pretty big still. And I think I can maintain this level of serving throughout the rest of the match. He's shown that he is serving a little better now. Maybe a, a he'll screw up a little bit more in the beginning of this next game and give me some more opportunities. But any opportunity he gives me, I gotta make sure to capitalize on it and then get up in this set. And I gotta make sure I don't get broken again and I can win this match. So I was able to hold, make it two apiece, uh, but he did a good job at making first serves and uh, uh, you know, really uh, making me move side to side, um, which is I think what he's trying to do most of the time. Um, I think I might have found a weakness. Uh, if you hit hard to the forehand and catch him off guard, it can cause some shanks sometimes. Um, but I really do think that I just gotta keep plugging away in and again, I keep saying this over and over again, but I gotta make first serves and I gotta look to attack and be the aggressor. 
Um, so I think that's what I got to keep doing. Just a little bit wide. Here's the opportunity I was talking about. Up 15 love, now let's take it. That's a good shot, Cole. Come on. Nice shot. It's a nice volley from Mike, too. It sucks coming in, making that, that clean of a, of a volley and then losing the point. It almost looked like Mike didn't believe that Lob was like had a chance of being in. Just a little bit slow going back for it. If I can just make some serves. Got to do a little bit more to put some pressure on him. Nope. If watching these two plays inspiring you to work on your own tennis skills, make sure to go to EssentialTennisAcademy.com. Pick up your free access to the members area. Again, I don't think I made an approach shot. <laughs> I don't think I've hit a volley yet today. <laughs> Thank God I did not miss that. No. Deep. Her serves help. I think that's the most frustrated I've seen Cole look <laughs> during a match so far. Interesting, the first kind of psychological uh, challenge possibly here from him. And I'm not really sure why he's frustrated, honestly. He missed some shots that he would have rather made, obviously, but, but Mike's playing well the last couple points. Could get interesting here in this set in a moment. We'll see what happens here the next couple points. Yeah. Good volley. It's interesting that we don't see more of Mike at the net. He, he looks so comfortable up there. No. One. No. Big second serve from Cole. Down 532. That's, that's going for quite a bit. It's impressive. Feels like I'm playing against Andy Roddick over here. That's Mike's way of saying what I said. Yeah. And that's Cole's way of replying to what Mike said. Nope. No. Come on. God, I'm missing first balls. Yeah. Come on. Good ball. How many aces does Cole have? That's gotta be like seven or eight. So frustrating. How many aces is he gonna hit? For the match, I was shooting for 20. I wanna know what I'm at. <laughs> All right, I'm disappointed that I wasn't able to get that break. I was right there, I had that 40-15 elite again. So now I'm upset, I'm angry. I'm gonna go really fight hard for this break right here so I can get it done. I really wanna close out this match, get on my serve again, hit some more bombs, and then close this thing out. Let's go. I'm definitely doing the right things. You know, I'm, I'm making them play, I'm not just giving it to them, but what can you say when a guy's hitting first serves in the corners left and right? All I can really do is, you know, try to just hold serve, make first serves, keep playing. He's also doing a really good job, as most college players do. They just keep the ball deep. It's just really hard to attack from him. I know what I want to do. It's just being able to do it is, is really, really hard. 
just take advantage of any balls I can get. If he gives me an opportunity, I'm going to take it. It's just, uh, it's just getting harder to tell when he's going to give me that opportunity. For all the shorter people out there, don't let your height be an excuse for not being able to serve bombs. I'm only about 5'9", so you don't need to be a 6'3 to hit aces. Nope. Got the one I wanted. Just missed it. Here's where I really need to focus in. I need to get this right here. That's tough for Mike. He had such a good opportunity to grab momentum just like two minutes ago. It's tough to go right into digging yourself a hole in the next service game. That's really difficult. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Cole, you could have made such a big highlight there. Ooh. By hitting him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, just back. Uh, Good ball. Uh, Come on! I feel his pain on that one. That's a tough follow to miss. Today is just not my day. No. No. And cue the whiff. Good serve, Cole. Thanks. Let's close it out right here. Come on. Cole's going for an ace here. Guaranteed. Oh. Want that back. If he goes for it again here, too, that's, that's a little cheeky. Come on! Great volley. What was that game? Man, it's got great instincts up there. Come on! Good serve, man. Thanks. Point, guys. Thanks. Good match. Good job, man. All right, I got the dub again. Really happy I was able to get that out because I was really challenging at the middle of that second set. He started fighting hard, he started serving better. And I really needed to focus in to be able to get another break. and. Make sure I didn't drop the quality of my serve at all. I'm gonna use this time to shout out um, Warhawk Tennis and the Warhawk Tennis Camps that go on all summer. That's actually how I got recruited to Whitewater was through these camps. I'd also like to shout out Minota Grove High School, my alma mater, and Cherokee Country Club, and the coaches Charlie Ping, Pat Klingelholtz, Tom Chorney, and Brian Sullivan for helping me get to where I am today. But overall, I'm really happy with my performance and I'm ready to come back whenever Ian invites me back, get some more action out here. I really like participating on this YouTube channel and competing hard out here for you guys. It was a lot of fun, so I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye. So that did not go how I planned at all. <laughs> I was hoping to uh Show the young guy that I still got it, and I got my I got my butt kicked. Uh, double faults killed me, unforced errors, um, and I think it just came down to him just being in you know more match ready than I was. You know if I can get him back in a little bit more shape, if I can just make a couple balls, I really do feel good. Um, I really do feel like he I didn't I didn't give too much away other than the double faults. He did a good job of just just keeping the gas pedal on me. Even in that last game, you know, I tried to give a come on, maybe to get in his head a little bit, and he just fired a good first serve right away. So, I mean, that's all that's all I can ask for as a competitor. He he beat me. Uh, hopefully, I can come back and give you guys a little bit better match, uh, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, it makes some more first serves, make it a little bit more entertaining for you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys having me. Till next time, I'll be back. Trust me. Really different flavor of of Cole today. It was really interesting to watch right from the warm-up. I was like, wow, Cole's really kind of bringing the heat today. 
and he kept that, that pace. He kept a low height over the net and he kept things pretty close to the lines, at least compared to how he was playing against Mark. Uh, he really just kind of pushed the envelope much more throughout both these sets. Uh, big thank you to both players as always. Uh, new player, big thank you to Mike for coming out and playing. I uh, would love to have him back. And thank you to Cole for, uh, for coming back. He said his college coach wants to maybe do a doubles match on the court here with, with commentary like we normally do. All four players mic'd up. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Would you like to see a college doubles match with all four players mic'd up? Much more match play coming. Hopefully I'll be back on the court battling out again soon. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. If you enjoyed the match, do us a favor and click the like button, it really helps a lot. Thank you. Thanks, man.